For many people, airline food doesn't always top the list of their tastiest meal. They consider the food to be bland, dry and not delicious. However, a lot of thought and effort have been put into its preparation to meet airline requirements. These include health and safety protocols, dietary requirements and menus according to ticket class. Catering to some of the prominent airlines operating through Malaysian airports is Kuala Lumpur Airport Services Syndrome Berhad All Class. Unlike uh, many other industries whereby the food are actually tested after they have been cooked, the industry that we are in, the raw materials themselves must be safe at source. So um, all the raw materials like the, the chicken, the vegetables, all sorts of raw materials are being tested even before they, they are being cooked. Some people say that uh, airline foods are not tasty. Now, now. <laughs> Uh, generally, there are there are few reasons on that. I, I will not say it's not tasty. To me, it is still tasty. But the only uh, difference in, in in certain way is that airline food, we have to be pre-cooked, and it has to be blast chill. So when you blast chill, basically we cannot just uh, normal food that we have uh, after the after cook, we straight away eat. So the aroma and everything uh, is still there, but. Our industry is different. We have to pre-cook. We cannot like just before the aircraft depart, then only we cook. Like one hour before, we can't do that. So we have to cook uh, much earlier than that. So we cook, we, we put in a special special uh, chiller. We call blast chiller. We blast chill the food to a certain temperature to make sure that the, the bacteria and whatnot will not grow uh, during that period. So uh, what happened is that uh, once this food uh, sent over to the aircraft, the, the air crews will uh, actually uh, heat up the food. So there's a process of food being chilled and then reheat, then only serve. So naturally, there are a bit of variation in terms of taste. And also another interesting fact that I, I, I actually found out in this industry is um, due to the difference in, in uh, was it the air pressure, yes. the, the food that we prepare on the ground has to be saltier than what we normally taste on the ground itself. Because once you are mid-air, Somehow, our taste part does not work as efficiently as it is on the ground. Class head of in-flight catering division, Asri Sha'ari, gives an inside view of the process involved in making these mid-air meals. There's a menu specs. Yeah? We have one in, uh, uh, in, in sales and one in the kitchen, and also one in our operation site. So before leaving, they, they just look into that, make sure they match with the, with the specification, then only they can put in the cart. Asri says they insist that their ground handlers to be at the airport five minutes before the plane lands to prepare for the next flight. So the next time when flying, remember to savour the taste before ripping off the salt package. Bon appetit! Fazlina Aziz, The Star, Malaysia.